Coming up on the Glow Sports Corner, we look at the men's and women's basketball teams as they both prepare for conference play. Trevor Franklin reflects on his freshman year so far in a new season. And Vinny Grotto gives Zach Begley his thoughts about the women's basketball team as they prepare for conference play. All that's coming up more on the Glow Sports Corner. Welcome back to another episode of the Glow Sports Corner. I'm Benjamin Cotton. And the conference season for the men and women's basketball team is right around the corner. And our own William Troyer previews both teams as they prepare for conference play. The Goshen College men's and women's basketball teams are once again gearing up for another conference season. Both teams have high expectations moving forward. Uh, working our best individually as a team. Uh, trying to get down our offense. We have a lot of new players this year. Um, we're just trying to make ourselves better and go from there. We've really been working on just becoming defensively sound and um, the basics of defense really just rotating, talking, taking risks and just being able to cover. For the Goshen College men's team, they sit at three and four and they are now down two key players, something that sophomore Austin Brannigan touched on. First game was kind of a little bit of a struggle, um, but I think we're pretty solid depth wise. Um, we all practice hard, play tough, play our best. Um, I think as things go along, we're just gonna, they're gonna be there all along for us and we're just gonna do what we can do. For the women's team, they sit at six and two this season. Sophomore Grayson Cockerham and the Maple Leafs are now looking to play together as a team. As a team, we're looking to go at least 500 on the season. Uh, we just wanna keep building up from last season, the season before that, and we think about 15 wins is a good goal for us. Also, we are focused on making it to the conference tournament this year, which has been our focus from day one. Both teams begin their conference play on Tuesday, November 26, as they travel to Grace College for a doubleheader. Reporting for Globe Sports, my name is William Troyer. The conference season kicks off early next week against Grace College. When we return, Zachariah Begley will talk with Trevor Franklin about his career against Holy Cross. That's coming up more on the Globe Sports Corner. I'm getting my degree from the college named TV School of the Year three out of the last four years. It's not in Muncie or in Indianapolis. I attend Goshen College, and communication is just one of the 35 outstanding majors offered here. At GC, you will work with professionals and get your hands on the camera in your first semester on campus. How do I know that Goshen College was the best choice? Right after graduation, I start my first job, broadcasting professional baseball. Take the next step towards your career. Welcome back to the Globe Sports Corner. I'm Zachariah Begley, and to my left, I'm with Trevor Franklin, freshman guard for the Goshen College men's basketball team. Trev, thanks for coming down to the studio. Oh, it's my pleasure. So, you're, it's your, your freshman, it's your first year on the Maple Leafs. What have you seen is the big difference between the high school game and the college game? Um, honestly, high school, at West Noble, you didn't really, we didn't really scout as much because we kind of just knew everyone. So, but coming into college, we have to scout every single player and every single little tendency that they do. It's a lot more focused and a lot more preparation for the games. So what were your expectations coming into this season? Um, even though it was your first season and you hadn't played college yet, did you have big goals or were you just like, this year is going to be a uh, preparation year for me to kind of get used to the college game? It was for sure a preparation year. I came in expecting, well, I didn't really have any expectations. I just kind of came in and wanted to give it my all and see where I ended up, what Trove had in had for me, I guess. So, um, adjusting, when you're coming to college, you're not only adjusting to a higher level of basketball, you're adjusting to a higher level of education. Mm -hmm. So, what has been the challenges, I guess, so far this year in adjusting to off the court? Honestly, the classes really don't bother me that much. People really hype up how hard college is, but I haven't really noticed any shock or anything yet, so. So we're going to look back a little bit on Saturday. You had scored. You started your first game of the your, your career, and you scored a, a career high 13 points. What was your mindset going into your first start? Um, my mindset was exactly what Coach Beachy told me before the game. He said, "Just play your game. Don't try to do anything fancy. You're just just play your game." So um, you scored 13 points, got a career high, but your team still lost. So what was your mindset after the game? 
realizing you played well yourself, but the team didn't quite pull it out? I mean, it stinks that the team didn't pull it out. I mean, but um, we still just got to look forward to the next game. I mean, we just got to keep growing as a team, and we'll get there. We're, we start off slow, and we're still working on the whole bonding thing and working as a team chemistry. But once we get that down, we'll, we'll be all right. So you're moving into conference play, and the Crossroads League is probably the best conference at the, at the NAI Division II level in the country. What are you looking for individually, and what do you see the team doing to sort of prepare for conference? Um, personally, I just want to give Coach everything I can give him. I mean, play my minutes, do my thing, and help contribute to winning every game we can win. I mean, we want to finish higher in the conference than we did last year because we were ranked last in the conference, and that's, I mean, it stinks, but we don't want that next year for sure in the year beyond that. All right, thank you so much for coming to the studio with us. It was a pleasure having you. Yep, thank you. When we return, I'll be with Vinny Granado to talk about the women's basketball team. That's coming up on the Globe Sports Corner. Goshen College students enjoy an amazing success record, and we have some impressive numbers to prove it. But stories of our graduates say even more, like developing a breakthrough antiviral drug for HIV AIDS, writing number one hits, being named one of Time Magazine's most influential people in the world for cancer research, and enjoying a broadcast career right out of college. They all started with a real world education on a campus that makes everyone feel at home. See how the numbers add up and schedule your campus visit today at goshen.edu slash visit. Back on the Globe Sports Corner with me is Vinny Granado, Associate Head Coach for the Goshen College Women's Basketball Team. Coach, thanks for joining us today. Glad to be here. So you're in your sixth season as an, on the staff and in your second season Associate Head Coach. Can you talk to us a little bit about how you got to Goshen College? Yeah, so background was this. I graduated from Clarion PA, which is John Calipari's alma mater. I say that because that's, you know, everyone knows who John Cal is. So I want to be a basketball coach. Mm -hmm. So what happened was as soon as I graduated, I, I sent out a couple of resumes, you know what I'm saying, and then... One was with Steph Miller, who's a head coach, obviously my boss. And I got the interview here after like three, four interviews. I got the job here, and I've been here ever since. It's been, you know, six really, really good years. So your team right now is on a tear, winning four in a row. You're playing really well in offense particularly. What has been the focus in practice to sort of create this offense that's been working really well? I think for, for our, our, our decent start this year, I think one thing you have to look at is that, and I think Doc, Doc Rivers, uh, said this a couple years ago that like championships aren't won in the off season, but they can be lost. So I think it actually started in the summer, and not so much getting in the gym and working out and, and you know getting your stamina, endurance, and getting shots up, but more just like our our focus. Like what were you guys thinking about over the off season? What are your individual goals, team goals? And I think that kind of translated into August, into September, into our preseason. And once we got there, we understood that we want to be a transition team. I think last year we tried to be, and in some sports we were good, some sports we weren't as good. I think this year we're a little bit better in that step, in that regard. And transition has been a big focus in practice the last, pretty much the last since we started, you know, our training camp in, in the summer. So that's one aspect that we've been doing a really good job of hammering in, just getting the ball out in transition. And the other thing is rebounding. We've been a pretty decent rebounding team historically, and that's another thing that we really want to focus on and improve upon from last year. Denise Chapman won Crossroads League Player of the Week last week, and then this week you had Kiara Murph win Maple Leaf Athlete mm -hmm. of the Week. Uh, you're the player development coach. What it, sort of have you done with them individually to improve their games from last year to this year? To be honest with you, I think a big step from them is that Murph and Chap have both themselves with their attitude, with their, they're just great to be around. I, I love those two, and we're so lucky to have them in our program. Think about it, we have two forwards, two centers that can come in and just give us a double-double, you know, almost at will if, they, if, you, if you look at it that way. So one thing that they've done, I think, over the summer themselves, and I'd like to take credit, but for them, they just took that extra step. Like Murph's in her third year, she's a captain, so she's been through the rigor a little bit, you know what I'm saying? For year one to year two to year three, she just really got in the gym, worked on her finishing touches, some things that we worked on in the offseason as well, that she went home came in the preseason and did, and Chap as well, just touched around the basket, made some face-up game, you know what I'm saying, she worked on an outside shot. There are some things we've worked on as a staff, but we can't take all the credit there. Most of the credit goes to those two young ladies who have just worked extremely hard. So, moving in, you're playing uh, your next games against Grace to open up conference play mm -hmm. next week, early next week. What is your point of emphasis going into that game, and then 
yeah, into that game. Yeah. So Grace is, we're excited to have that game. I think Grace is a great opener for us. Two things we want to focus on. Grace is a team, they play zone, they extend their defense full court. So one thing we've got to do a better job of that we have been getting a little bit better this year is that limiting our turnovers, you know? And the way you do that is just by being smart, making the safe play, don't get too erratic, don't get too frazzled. So that's one thing that we have to focus on against Grace. The other thing is since they like to play zone, we have to make sure that we out-rebound them. We want to use our length and our size at some positions, so we definitely want to out-rebound them in those, in those aspects, you know? So those are the two things that we're focusing on into Grace, heading into Grace, and we have our, our practice squad and our practice plan from here on out will be about that, and we're focused on Grace pretty, pretty strongly. So you, one, yeah, so it's still Grace's first conference team, but yep. then you have a host of conference games after that. Is there any points of emphasis that you want to point on conference as a whole? Like, is there a style of play that you're trying yeah. to imprint on conference? Yeah. Well, the obvious thing, I think every coach will say, is that like each game, each practice, each week, you want to get better. Take a step forward, take a step forward. And we want to do that by doing a couple of things. A, continue to rebound. If we're going to be a mentally tough team, you have to rebound well. And that's something that we've continually like, gradually increased on, increased on. We want to get better in transition. We want to get better in execution. All the basic things I know most coaches talk about we want to get better and better at. It's still early in the year. We're only about a quarter of the season way through. So we want to continue on those three things. We want to execute on offense a little bit cleaner. We want to limit the ball a little bit less with our turnovers. And also just get a little bit stronger with rebounding. So those are the things that we're looking for, the three main categories that we're continuing to improve upon as we head into each and every conference, conference game. All right, thank you so much. It was a pleasure having you down in the studio here today. Appreciate it. When we come back, Benjamin Cotton will have a look ahead at your Maple Leafs in action this week. That's next on the Globe Sports Corner. Goshen students enjoy an amazing record of success. What's the secret? It starts with hands-on learning experiences. Whether it's a service project in Peru, a sustainability semester at our Environmental Learning Center, or broadcasting for our award-winning radio station. It adds up to life-changing perspectives and real-world skill development that makes a difference to future employers. And it's all available at a campus that makes everyone feel at home. Come hang out with us and see for yourself. Schedule your campus visit today at goshen.edu slash visit. Welcome back to the Glow Sports Corner. Let's take a look at your Maple Leafs in action this week. The men's cross-country team will be running on Friday in Vancouver, Washington as they compete in the NAIA National Championships. And the men's basketball team will be in action on Friday and Saturday as they take on Wilberforce University and Central State University. And that's going to wrap up our episode for the Globe Sports Corner. Be sure to follow us on social media, subscribe to our YouTube channel at 91.1 The Globe, and check out our website at globeradio.org. We'll see you next time here on the Globe Sports Corner.